Aloha world, and welcome to the third episode of The Queer and the Queen. I am Jacoby Jones, your in-house queer, here with... Queen Esther, your in-house queen. Okay, so let's start off with this. I have some news for you. I did a Zodiac quiz. I'm pretty sure I sent the link to you. I don't know your results. Yes, though, you did. But you know, as mm. you know, we're both Geminis. And yeah. I did the quiz and it told me that I was a Gemini and it broke me down. <laughs> I got Leo, Gemini, and Libra, which Ooh. I'm cool with. I'm totally yeah, I'm cool, cool with, with that. that too. I would be. But this intrigued me as to think for one, how accurate it is for you. Because you do have Scorpio tendencies, but I'm not gonna put your business out there, girl. I'm not, I'm not. I, 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 but what would you say is the worst sign that you have ever dated? Just give us the one, the first one that comes to your mind. The Leo, because they lie. Oh, see, I don't have, you don't know the truth for me? My worst no. was another fucking Gemini. Well, we're just too cunning. It's okay. Oh, it was like, it was like I was getting a dose of my own medicine. The whole fucking relationship. Yourself, I was just like, it. you think you do? You think I don't know what the fuck you doing? But I know what you doing because we wrote this book together, motherfucker. Like it was. It was the sex. It was the sex, wasn't it? It was. Yeah. It was okay. It was, it was the sex. Um, but okay, I do so, know you like orgies now. Mm. No, that's not. No, no, no. Yo, Gemini's is like fucking more than one person, I, isn't it? I don't know what kind of Gemini you are because you was born in the month of May. But <laughs> for me, I like my men's one at a time. One at a time. And all down the line. Go um, ahead. Right. But speaking of all mm, this, like right? Trump. Speaking of all this relationship shit. Thinking like about, I was thinking about this hookup What's culture that we have here in the, the gay and lesbian community. Because I know uh, gay men yes. are whores. Yes, and so are, whores. are lesbians. But you know, I don't know that though. Like, I don't know lesbians to be whores. What I it's know of mm -hmm. lesbians is that <laughs> they love uh. to be in relationships and they will be married yesterday. Every lesbian oh. I've ever known wants to be in a relationship. They want to wife you. They want to raise your kids for you. They want to- did Yes, they, just... they do, but they do have toxic traits. This is the same thing, you know how like, straight women they want to come into the, no seriously they want to come into the community thinking like a woman would treat them better than the man that just hurt them but ladies can be hoes but more cunning so your woman that you just married and you hauled can be cheating on you in the in the rapture of romance that's i'm just saying in the rapture <laughs> in the rapture okay oh my god that's what it is everybody falls in love with that moment be like, oh, we're in love. No, they're in love with that mm -hmm. moment. I seen you fall in love with the moment of time. Or two. Exactly. But, um, you see, shut up. I guess you. Right. I guess you right. But okay, so like this, right? So how about this? So, so in the gay mm -hmm. culture, they do the whole no fats, no femmes. They do the whole no blacks, no Asians. You know what I mean? But oh, I so don't see. Pick a... I don't see that in the lesbian community. I don't. So see... wait, do, do they pick a category to be hoish with? I don't understand. Explain. It's exactly. It's just what I like. No fast, no fems. I'm not in the guys who don't work out. I'm not in the guys who aren't, who are like super oh. flamboyant. No, and then like That's no yes. blacks, no Asians. But what I'm asking is, I don't see lesbians holding standards very much. Other than, I mean, like, you know, you got butchies and you got like, you got butchies and Hold you got on, like- Hold on, you're, no. But you, let me standards. finish. You, got you said standards. I think men don't have standards, but then let's not go there. I, that's not what I'm saying. I'm asking, I don't see lesbians that really, like, I have, and bitch, don't get me to testify for you, okay? Don't get me to testify for you. Because Ooh, not, I have that, seen and heard some things. Women are different. Like, they want, like, you know, gay Yeah, guys. they fall There's in no love fast, with your no, heart. No, yeah. That's like what it is. So that's be, what you mean by standard. You could be, you could be five, six, and two thirty, <laughs> and ain't had a and child, and but you work in a warehouse somewhere, and you like chocolate chips and ice cream a lot, and you can still go find you a baddie from the strip club. I don't know why women are like that. Because we love for whom you are. It's not a, a superficial thing all the time. There are lesbians who are I'm sorry I can't hear you breaking up um but you know <laughs> yeah oh you trying to come for me today but no 
keep trying. Yeah, take another sip. Mm. I mean, I guess. I mean, I, 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 I'm not superficial. I have learned and I have was taught that love has no image. You can love anyone that's about the inside. I'm also not but blind. You just don't. So, but you just but don't. But I'm also not <laughs> blind. So I definitely do need to be physically attracted to you because this been no, so, I, I see some lesbian relationships and I'm just like, where are you getting the muscles to pick that stomach up to find a pussy? But you know, everybody likes. But the same shit. thing for the D, though. Everybody likes different shit. I'm just like, but you know what, though? I ain't gonna lie. I've been with some fat motherfuckers. I've been like, throw that belly on my back, baby. Throw that belly on my back. <laughs> I don't know how to feel. I know you're fine, but I don't know how to feel about you right now. So I guess maybe, I guess, you know, we to each his own. But, um... You, no, I think you've grown over the years. We're gonna put I that have in grown. I have grown. Mm -hmm. But, you know, see, that's, mm -hmm. that's, that's a part of the growth, though. Like, letting a chubby dude hit it I used to not be like that. You know what I mean? Like, no, I think, gross. you know what? No, I think that's part of the Gemini because we like, like to give people chances. So I think that's what you do. You gave him a chance to all of this. I'm not going to, I, 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 I will tell villains. you this. I'm not going to lie to you. Every chubby husky, well, let's have you, mm. man that I've been with has been really fun the only thing i can't <laughs> fucks with is if you hairy i mean i can do a little bit of hair yeah, no, you I got that whole grizzly bear shit going on goosebumps i can't goosebumps. fucks with you i can't yeah i can't fucks with you. i just can't do it i can't i don't like flossing and sucking dick at the same no, time i just it's think just you like know a part of my i just can't what do you think about like within at the time of the 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 years that we are have we moved forward you know technology is moving forward all of this do you feel like it's still necessary to want to wear white to your wedding, especially within the like the LGBTQ community? You know like, what? That's a good question because I have always wanted to wear a white tuxedo at my wedding, but Lord so knows, <laughs> Lord you knows that I don't got no business with a white tuxedo mm. on. But I have, I mean, I don't know. That's a tough one because I have been a ho ho ho. I still want to wear white. Listen, I think it's a personal choice from, especially in the day and the time that we're at. It's a person's day. It's my day. I make that choice. You understand what I'm saying? Or right. a compromise. It could be. Really did do. you hear? Mississippi and Texas. I'm sorry because we are in these times and the last Bitch. year was not the easiest. Bitch, don't Let's... get me started. Okay. I was born in Mississippi as much as I don't like to admit that, I was born in Mississippi. I lived there I for like three fact. days and then we moved to Wisconsin. And then I lived in Wisconsin until Aww. I was like 19 and then I moved to Hawaii. But mm -hmm. as far as I'm concerned, that state can be blown off the face of the map. You know who annoys the fuck out of me is Candace me. motherfucking Owens. You know Candace Owens? Tell I, me about her if you got details, but I, I do. I, 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 have no, I have no updates. Other than that, the brain, her brain cell count is still low. Other than that, I don't know too much about the bitch. Other than like when I watch her speak, my eyes start twitching. Just like, bitch, who the raised is you? Real. Who raised you? I remember I saw her at a press conference, and her black, blackity black grandfather was sitting right there, just looking like oh, this bitch. Oh, why she like to this shit with this bitch? <laughs> I'm here to support this bitch. I don't know how it's I got seven here. Seven and seven I just I know, like, somebody wheeled me out this goddamn courtroom right now. <laughs> oh, for real. I feel so yo, bad for that man. To go with Biden on this one. They are Neanderthal in thought. Period. They just too far back. They're slow. Periodical, okay? You know I don't what's understand. so funny about that? That statement is that I remember when... Um, I think it was like uh, Steve, Stephen Colbert or Seth Meyers or something like that, or Trevor Seth Noah. Way. When they had their, they had one of their correspondents go out on the street and interview people at a Trump supporting rally, uh -huh. and they were asking them the whole "Make America Great" thing. So when was like Neanderthal, like the past tense? You know what I mean? So when yeah. was America great again? And no one could give a time frame. And if they did give a time frame, the person, the, the correspondent was ready. So he would be like, oh, you know, back in the thirties. And he'd be like, oh yeah, when women were had no rights and couldn't vote and all that, that's what you like, right? And he's like, oh no, not that part, just the part where it was better. You know what I mean? They have no, when I see a Trump <laughs> supporter, all I see, <laughs> all I see 
is mental illness at its fucking finest. Like mental illness just, just, yeah. just, just it just blows my mind. They're oblivious. Mind. And I know some educated, well, you know what? I will say this. I know some people who are semi-educated mm-hmm. and then those people who are semi-educated tend to be either white Caucasian women that I've been friends with or gay white men that I've been friends with, but who have right. been born and bred in the Republican party. It, it they, The Republican party, is one of the most it's it, sickening to my soul because they're yeah. they just don't do what's best for the people they do what's best for the pocket but yeah they the republican party they have this like cult loyalty mentality the kind of mentality yeah where which is, i will i am loyal to you even if i watching watching trump's uh, public speakers and correspondents go on national tv every day at press conferences and lie with with no you, remorse to the people it was i was just sitting there just trump's like and people spiritual advisor thing. didn't you hear trump's spiritual advisor on tv praying that time and we're um uh, we're da, gonna... da, 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 okay i've been that shit yeah that bullshit uh, uh, scared him a ricky dinky dink ass bitch i remember that shit i remember that oh shit my God. yeah it was horrible and you know they're so oh, mentally he- ill that, that they will follow this shit. That, that they're so mentally ill that they think that we, as a forward-thinking people who care about everybody, are mentally yeah. ill. Republicans care about their pockets and themselves. And yeah, definitely. Me as a non—I'm not a Democratic or I'm not a Republican. I'm an independent thinker. I have my own brain. I think for brain. myself. I'm not a part of the left. I'm not a part of the right. I'm a part of the forwardness because that's Thinking all they're more, doing. Exactly. They separate us and they want us to think separately instead of looking forward at the shit that they really lying to us about. You know what I mean? So forward movement. I'm serious, girl. You got me riled up. To sum it all up. Gay men are whores and lesbians are whores too. Thank you. Let them know. And where what the fuck you want for your wedding? I don't wedding? know about these zodiac signs. I mean, I know, I know. June Gemini's are the shit. I don't know about these May Gemini's, and I know that. You know what? I really, you know what? Really, you know what? Race. I'm here I'm for not you, race. May you Gemini's. Know what don't worry. I really want to be with more than anything because I've had good experiences with all of them as far as friendships. So I feel like, cause I can be your friend so easy, it'll be great. Come on, spit it out, I'm curious. Let it go Scorpios, I've had great friendships with you, Scorpio man. You and want that, like, no. I've never been, I've never been with one, to my knowledge, like in a relationship. Like I probably had hookups with them and I just don't know. But it, like, as far as like being in a relationship with a Scorpio, like I just feel like that's what I'm meant to be with. I don't know. I think, you know what? The universe will drop that in your way. And I think you want the passion of the Scorpio and you want them to blow your back out. Period. Yeah, they're, they're out there. Excuse Let it go. Okay. This you're is right, a you're family going. show, young lady. Okay. Get the fuck out of here. You said like a couple times. I don't know what you speak of, but I got anyway, go to church tomorrow. Okay. As we always say, love yourself and don't forget to smile.